Alrighty, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up an emission radial. Um, I like doing radials for emissions because some worlds have post-processing or bloom set that makes emissions blow out, that just go out of proportion. Um, and nobody really wants to be blinded by that. So I like having an emission radial because it allows you to freely adjust how much emission you're giving off from your avatar or to turn it off completely. So here's how we're going to go about that. Um, the very first thing we need to do is we need to determine uh, a good value for your shader uh, to determine how much how much emission we want to give off for a max value. Um, now I'm going to use Poyomi for this, but you can use any shader that allows for emissions um, so long as you can adjust that value. Um, there is one, one caveat with that, is that Poyomi uh, has a feature where it locks your shader, so we need to set it to to still be editable after it's been locked. Um, and I will show you how to do that as well. So I'm using uh, Boyomi uh, Tune version 7.3.046, but, but you should always use the latest version, always. And I will link where to grab that from below. Um, do not try and, and download uh, this version if it's out of date, please. Always use the latest version of everything. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, and set this up. Um, for emissions, it's going to be under the special effects here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check the emission here. And then we're going to open up our emission menu here. So now um, what I want to do is I'm just going to set it for my actual uh, outfit itself. Um, and then I'm going to just take this emission strength here. I'm going to crank it up. And you can see here that it's... Uh, just going to go ahead and, and use this emission color um, and it's just going to purely feed that into it. So what I want to do is I actually want to use uh, base color as map. And so what that's doing is that's using my main texture um, to basically act as the emission map. And then as I crank this value up, any any color from that will will uh, will be duplicated. And that's what I want. So I'm going to take this value here, and I'm just going to crank this up till I get to the point where I feel like it's enough emission. And normally what I'll do is I'll go to 10. I feel like 10 is a, a good high value emission. Really and truly, I'm never going to get anywhere close to that in game, but just to have that value there. Um, and so that's about where I want it. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and crank this back down. Um, now to to set a uh, to set a value in in Poyomi to still be editable after it's been locked, what you want to do is find that value, and it can be anything in here, and just find the name for it, and you want to right click, and it's going to create this little clock icon, and that means that it is still editable, and so that's all I want to do is I just want to do that. I'm going to leave emission on, but I'm just going to leave it at the zero value. And our shader is now set up. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and create two animations. So I'm going to go to where my FX controller is. In here. And I'm going to create a folder if I don't already have one. And I'm going to call it toggles. I use the toggles folder for just about everything that I do that I'm switching on my avatar. And I'm going to go in. And I'm going to create two animations. So the first one I'm going to call emission zero because it's no emission. And then I'm going to create another one. I'm going to call it mission one. And that is the max value that I will have. I'm going to select both of these animations and I'm going to add them to my avatar here just by clicking and dragging them over to my avatar in the hierarchy. And that's going to create a new controller. And we need that controller to be able to edit animations. So we're going to click on our avatar here, and then we're going to open the animation window. If you need to open the animation window, it is control six, or you can go up to window, animation, animation, and that'll pop this up. Now, both the animations are going to be listed here in your animation selection list. We're going to start with the mission zero, and we're going to hit record. We're going to click on our body here to pull up our uh, material list, and then I'm going to find uh, the material that I want. I'm going to go to special effects here, emission, and I'm going to find my emission strength uh, uh, value here. And I'm just going to go up a little bit, and I'm going to go right back down so that it's a zero value. And you can see here 
that I have the skin mesh render material emission strength is going to be zero. And that's what we want. All right. And then I'm going to stop recording and switch out of the preview mode. And then I'm going to go to emission one. I may hit record. And the exact same thing, except this time, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take the emission strength here and I'm going to set it to that value that I determined, which was 10 for me. Just like that. And I'm going to stop recording and stop preview. And now both my animations are set up. I'm going to go ahead and delete that controller that I created because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to go to my avatar in the hierarchy here, find my animator component, and then in the controller slot here, it's going to say missing because that controller we just deleted, we're just going to hit none just to close that out. And now our avatar has been reset. Now all we need to do is we need to go ahead and add it to our FX controller. So we're going to select our FX controller here, go to our animator, and then we're going to create a new parameter. This is going to be a float parameter, and I'm going to call this mission float. I'm going to leave it at zero, and I'm going to go to my layers, and I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to call this mission float. And then I'm going to take the weight by clicking on this gear here and change the weight to one. And then I'm going to go to my toggles here, find the two animations that I created. I'm going to keep those right there. I'm going to right click in the, uh, the window here for the layer. I'm going to go create state from new blend tree, just like that. And then I'm going to take the name here and I'm just going to call this emission float but you can leave it if you want. It doesn't really matter. Double click on this new blend tree that you created, and that's gonna pop this up here. And then I'm gonna click on the blend tree here, and then I'm going to add two new motion fields by going over to the parameter list here, and switching this to emission float. So make sure your parameter that it's affecting is emission float. And then the motion, click this plus here, add motion field and I'm going to add two of them, all right? So we have the zero threshold and the one threshold. We're going to take emission zero and put it in the first slot and emission one into the second slot. All right, and so now that is set up. Our FX layer is ready to go. So now we just need to add the uh, expression parameters list and we need to add our menu. So we're going to go back here to our expression parameters we're going to add a new value. We're going to call this mission float, the same way that it's named in our FX controller. It's going to be a float value. It's going to default to zero, and I do want it to be saved um, just so I'm not setting my emissions every single time that I go into an instance. Uh, it'll carry over with me. So after that, we're going to go back to our menu and like I always say, I like to create submenus. So I'm going to go to submenus here, and I'm going to create a new one by going right-clicking here and create VR Chat Avatars Expression Menu. Oops. And then I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to call it customization. You can really call it whatever you want. That's just what I'm going to call it to find it. All right. So I'm going to go into my customization uh, menu that I have here. I'm going to add a new control, and I'm going to call it Emission. And then I'm going to change the type to a radial puppet. And I'm going to change the parameter rotation to Emission Float. And now our customization menu is set up. We just need to add it to our main menu. So go to our main menu here, add control, customization, the type submenu and the submenu customization. And now the last thing we need to do is test it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over and uh, enter play mode. And that's going to put our avatar into our normal pose here. This is using uh, Leoma's AV3 emulator, which I will link in the description. And then once we do that, we're going to see that we have our customization, our customization submenu over here. We're going to go into that, and we can see we have our emission radial here. We're just going to hit emission, and then that pulls up our 0 to 1 value. 
and then you can increase or decrease our emission level to where we want it. And that's all there is to it.